Hello, this is Justin again with another video tutorial, but uh, this is actually going to be a different type of video tutorial that I'm going to show you. Uh, it's not going to relate to any games at all. Um, this is going to help uh, hopefully speed up the process of me getting my new capture device while I wait for Newegg to get it back in stock. Um, but what I'm going to actually teach you how to make is uh, chainmail. Um, as you can see, uh, it's a pretty decent piece that I've been working on for a little while. Um, it's kind of oddly shaped, um, not complete yet, but I'm intending to try to make this into a shirt. Um, let me put that over to the side, and I'm going to tell you the actual materials that you need. The first thing, of course, is going to be your little rings here. I don't know if you can see these too well, um, but I actually make these myself. Uh, what you can do is, is uh, you make a spindle, uh, which is what you see here. Um, it's pretty much just electric fence wiring that you get at uh, where I got mine was Tractor Supply Company. Um, it's 14 gauge, I believe. And what we did was we created a spindle. We had a dowel rod that uh, you know, is pretty much the size of these holes here. Uh, and we uh, fed one end of the uh, fencing through it, and we attached the drill to it. And when we spun the drill, it created the coil that you see here. After which you just take it off um, and then you have your coil which you can make your rings out of. Uh, second thing you'll need is a pair of uh, clippers here. Uh, nothing too fancy, just you know, normal household tools or you know, garden tools, whatever you want to call it. Um, and of course uh, you're going to have to have two sets of pliers. Um, now what I recommend for your pliers is is right here on the handle uh, you can buy pliers that actually have a spring in between here that way whenever you're messing around with the uh, chain mail you don't have to constantly keep opening it up back yourself the spring just opens it for you um, unlike me I was an idiot and bought uh, the kind where I have to do twice the amount of work um, but uh, let's go ahead and get started here okay okay so starting off after you get your spindle here um, I don't know if you can see, this is going to be pretty, pretty hard to see on YouTube, more than likely. Um, but as you can see, at, at the end of the spindle, where it actually, uh, you see how it ends at the tip there, how there, you know, where it disconnects from everything. Um, what you want to do is you want to take your cutting tool, and right where that piece ends, uh, right here in the center, you can see, you want to grab a hold of the ring behind it, like so and you want to put some pressure on it but not enough to actually cut through it and then afterwards you grab the bottom of the ring uh, and then simply pull up and then you'll get your first ring um, the reason you do it that way is so the edges itself uh, it's not a complete cut that way it makes the actual edges of the inside of the ring nice and smooth that way uh, since we're doing European style chain mail which is a four in one ring um, it's not going to get caught in your hair or anything if you make a headpiece out of it or um, you know, so forth, any type of scenario like that. Uh, of course, just you know, keep a nice little um, like empty bottle, like Centrum or whatever, you know, that's what I have here. And of course, you know, tons of rings that you will have to use. Um, but just do you know, a good bit of those until you have a decent amount, as you can see here. Um, it's a nice little amount to start with, um, so uh, let's go ahead and start actually forming our, our first segments of the chain mail, okay? Okay, as you can see, um, I've changed the angle a little bit of the camera. Um, uh, please bear with me because this is going to be really hard to show you at the angle that I have the camera set at. Uh, I really don't have too much space to work with because um, this is actually my computer area. I just had to push everything off to the side. Um, uh, but what we're doing is the 4 one chain mail, uh, which is European style. Um, and what I'm going to show you how to do is actually make a link like this here. Um, so as you can uh, start off as, is you want to take a single ring and you want to take your pliers and you want to open it up to it. It has a pretty nice looking gap like that. Uh, you don't want to overdo it, um, but just you know give it a nice and even amount so you can actually slip the rings onto this one here. Um, after which... Uh, take uh, the other rings that you have and you want to try to close them up as best as you can as you can see here um, It's not going to be completely closed as you can see, but uh, it's going to be good enough um, So what you want to do is uh, I already have two here uh, So I need to make two more 
uh, which is why we call it four and one because uh, four rings is going to slide onto this one ring here. Um, but let me go ahead and get two more for us real quick. Um, basically, what you want to do? Sorry, let me see, get here a good camera angle. Um, just try to bend it into place a little bit. And after which, clamp it from the sides and then try to clamp it shut as best as you can. Which that will make our third ring there. So just do one more ring. So try to get it as best as you can. There you go. And again, clamp it from the sides and then close it shut. After which, uh, take the one ring that you have opened up and just start sliding them on, like so. Alright, after that is done, oops, sorry, I got a little ca off camera angle there. Um, take your plier and grab one side here. Make sure you got a good grasp of it because you don't want the, you know, accidentally drop it and have the rings go everywhere. Um, then take the other pliers and grab the other side and do the same thing you did before. Twist it so like the two rings kind of meet towards the center. You want to try to grab by the rings here, uh, try to pinch it so that none of the rings will go flying off. Um, and then what you want to do is take the, again, go from the sides, clamp it, shut. And then you have the first part of your segment, which will be a uh, four and one ring, as you can see. That's how they got the name. So we need to make uh, another one of those. Uh, that way uh, we can make this here. So um, let me go ahead and do that for you real quick. Um, just bear with me. Uh, if you didn't catch it the first time through, just rewind the video and watch it again. I'm going to have to go through this really fast because, again, YouTube only allows me 10 minute videos. One thing you want to watch out for, actually, so um, I'm probably going to leave this in because of this tip here, is if you get any type of rings um, that are not a perfect circle, they're kind of like an ellipse or an oval type shape, uh, throw it out because it will mess you up on the long run. Uh, it will make the chainmail overall look, uh, it will have like a little lump in it and it's possible you might accidentally miss that in the loops later on. Um, so if it gets any type of like an oblong shape, throw it out. It's no good. Again, put the four rings on the one that's left open. Get as close as you can to the center. And then clamp it shut. And then there's your other link. Alright. And what you want to do here is now that you have... I'll get the stuff out of the way, sorry. Now that you have these two here... Let me try to lay them out flat, sorry. Right, now that you have these two here, as you see, uh, we're going to take one individual ring. Like before, you're going to open this one up slightly so that you have that little gap in it again. And then grab one of the links and grab two, oops, sorry, grab one of these links here and grab like the two rings that you see I have here. Take the open ring slide it right through okay now don't close it up just yet because you're going to do the exact same thing with the other link that you have as you can see here so we take you know, the two rings oops sorry camera angle <laughs> so take these two rings and then try to slide these on just like that and as you can see now you know they're all it's again four rings on this one ring here all right so Go ahead and clamp this one shut like you have been. Let me do that a little bit better. It's not completely even. Alright. Shut and check it out. There's your first link. Alright, and then the next video, which I don't think I have any more time to actually try to fit this in, I'm going to show you how to link these two together to form your first actual piece of chain mail.